Hello and welcome to Terra Bane. This video is kindly sponsored and we are actually going to be playtesting a JRPG right here. Now this game is coming out on Nintendo Switch and PC if you'd like to check it out. There is a link in the description and you can also wishlist the game if you don't necessarily want to purchase it right away but you maybe just want to watch the video first anyway we're going to be exploring it the code has been generously provided by the publisher whisper games and the developer bit9 studio and this is a fourth wall breaking meta adventure where you are play testing an rp a jrpg and you are consistently mocked by the developer and that's exactly what we're going to see here. It's comedic as well, very, very, very awesome sense of humor in the game. And you're going to see exactly what's going on with that as we start a new game. At the beginning, only the eternal light existed. From this light, Ariel was born, goddess of all that was good and righteous. Unbeknownst to Ariel, however, a great evil, Archdemon Zonda, was also given form. Rising from the residual shadows of the Dark Realm, Zonda envied the beauty of Ariel and sent his army of winged demons to destroy her. When Ariel saw this army of darkness, she wept tears of sorrow. One of these tears streamed down her heavenly cheek, dropping in the molten energies of primal creation originated by Bork, the Undying. It was so that Bork, moved by the compassion of Ariel, took to the skies and, swinging his mighty hammer, forged the Eversteel of Eternity, a material so great and mighty it could cleave all creation in half. He then gave the Eversteel to a faithful servant, Leorion, the winged beast of Blazing Sun. Leorion, just as his mistress prophesied, began his voyage among the stars to deliver the Eversteel to the hero of legend who could save the goddess. But Leorion was prideful and thus decided to rest in the skies of a small world, Terra. One of Zonda's lieutenants, Dreadlord Kuborg of the Pale Moon, soared through the shadows and stole the Eversteel from Leorion while he rested. Swiftly he escaped, hiding where the light of Leorion could not follow, the dark side of Terra. Little bit fast, the scrolling there. <laughs> or I'm just slow, either one. Driven mad and filled with horror, Leorion searched for the legendary blade, but could not find it. He so began to encircle the earth in great leaps, desperate to find his treasure. But Kuborg was nimble, and he escaped the sun's vengeance. It was so that under the light of its moon and sun, the land prospered, and man knew of its first realms. In the shadows of the kingdom of man, a new light was about to be born, a hero that would change the destiny of this universe forever. It was the dawn of the Terrabane. Alright, I just got the achievement. Epic patience. Oh yes, indeed. Yeah, as I said, it is fourth wall breaking and yeah, here we go. We're playtesting it. There's going to be a bunch of bugs. There are multiple pathways that you can also take in the story. And you can also bring uh, various menus up. And I will uh, hopefully be able to show you that as time goes on. So, yes, let's see where we go here. Um, yeah, so there, there's very few buttons in this game, by the way. Okay, bug unlocked, pillar of, pillar of Hercules. So yeah, you can see here, here's the bug list. And as I said before, we are technically a playtester for the JRPG. And we are, of course, going to be um, having a bug list, an actual bug list, 
and we can use these glitches and things to experience uh, different events in the game and we're going to be able to see exactly you know what we can do to achieve victory i suppose if there is actually a victory even possible but um yeah as you saw uh, saw there on the uh, statistics screen we are maxed out we are oh there's a bug okay <laughs> i can't i can't move okay i can't okay i can't move how do i uh, yeah, okay, bug unlocked. Focus is the unbridled power. Oh no. Dimension Rift Buster. By making the hero's soul vibrate at the same intensity as the Eversteel of Eternity, it produces a wave of energy that can cleave the entire universe in half. Okay, probably not the best idea. Okay, so I. Oh, I'm moving. Kind of. Okay, wait a minute. I think. Ah, I see. Okay, so there's an obstacle there. As you can quite clearly tell. So I just needed to walk backwards and there's a uh, glitch bug, whatever, right there. So yeah, probably <laughs> want to be a bit careful of that. Okay. Yeah, so you can see here, look at this. So number of bugs I need to find the sh uh, find to show the dev this part is broken. Six. And we found four so far. You can see here, long and boring intro, zero, snoring player, one. So you can kind of already see the sense of humor that this game has. It's pretty amazing. And... After patiently waiting, uh, actually reading the initial intro scroll, I found myself a bit misplaced. The pillars found just before entering Zonda's throne room weren't that bad at all. In fact, we could say they were quite passable. And then we have ease of use here. Your hero comes equipped with many awesome abilities and items. Now if only you could find a way to read their description. <laughs> okay, so there's all that. And then we also have items here as well. And you can see that I can actually... Yep, defective items. And this is obviously not working as intended. Hmm, the legendary and wondrous head of the phoenix can resurrect most main characters after death. Warning, does not work in case of plot device. Oh, there's a reverence there and a half, isn't it? Oh yes, that's a wonderful, wonderful one. Anyway, this mixture protects from the effects of every venom in existence. It could come from beasts of all shapes and sizes, present and future alike. This antidote wouldn't care. A true marvel of digital efficiency. All right. So, obviously, that's not really working as intended. Bork the Undying, the spirit of Bork, lord of the molten energies of primal creation. His mighty double peen straight face hammer yearns to punish all who would foolishly face Terabane in combat. Okay, so there's also that. And there's my status. There we go. Bug unlocked, and uh, we, we are ob quite obviously maxed out in almost every single respect. And have you noticed the time down at the bottom there is glitching out super hard as well. So there's a number of things that we've unlocked now. Let me actually just go over here and see if I can actually interact with the, um, the obstacle that I encountered before. Maybe I'm going to be... Oh, okay, apparently it doesn't... Okay, apparently it was literally just there temporarily. That was... Okay, that's kind of weird. So maybe it's moving around and I just can't see it or something. Ah, there it is. Ah. <laughs> okay, yeah. We can literally move off the map. And glitch through the... Uh, glitch through the wall. Well, that's... Uh, that, you know, that's definitely... Uh, that's definitely kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Alright, yeah. Exploring the unknown usually makes for interesting discoveries. In this game, it just means rediscovering the room you just left. <laughs> Everyone knows that one of the best ways to balance gameplay is to start with all stats completely maxed out. The items in your inventory aren't numbered, and Zonda doesn't seem too concerned about their extensive use in battle. Yeah, there's also that. All right, so uh, do I still need to find more bugs for me to be able to report? No, I need three more bugs to be able to report to the developer. Okay, so let me see if I can find some bugs in the uh, the boss room. I wouldn't be surprised if there are more elsewhere. Okay, wait, okay, uh, hello there. Did I, did I miss something right there? I'm actually not entirely sure. Oh, this guy's not even bothering to, to stop me looking around at the moment. This crystal looks vaguely familiar. Okay, they all look vaguely familiar by the looks of things. Okay. Alright. Okay, so do I need to find... Okay, I guess. You know what? Let's just... <laughs> and so we meet at last, O chosen by the goddess. Your journey has been long, but finally I've drawn you here within my dark realm. So let us have at it. 
It shall be a fitting contest. Come, face your nemesis, Zonda, the tyrant of darkness. All right, let's do it, and here we go. Okay, your life ends here, he says. This time I shall triumph and drown this world in, in darkness. Okay, so let's attack. Can I actually do that? I did one damage. Am I really supposed to believe this is everything you've got? Come on, show me your true abilities. In other words, hmm, yeah, let's use, let's use an ability then, I suppose. Let's use Dimension Rift Buster. Well, that might have actually destroyed the entire planet. Oh, it literally did so much damage. Okay, Ack, you are powerful, chosen one. But don't delude yourself. I won't be defeated. This is not even my final form. <laughs> uh, yes, there's a lot of references as well. Oh, and there we go. He actually has changed forms. Look your demise straight in the eyes, little soul. All right, so can I? Oh, okay. I can use another. I can use another ability here. So I guess I'll use Electro Spike Mag this time. Oh, that did that did a massive amount of damage as well. Ah, damn you! Your power is great, but this is only the beginning. Oh, is he changing forms again? Yes, he is, and he has a mustache this time around. You haven't changed at all, young child. Don't you recognize me? I am your father. <laughs> oh, classic. Uh, join me, and together we can rule this kingdom. And there we go. So we've now unlocked two additional bugs right there. I think I need one more. Yes, I need one more to show that this part is broken to the developer. So let me see. Is there anything else that I can do here? I can summon Bork. Let me summon Bork. No, my power fades, but this is not the end yet. All right. So, is 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 that is, is that? <laughs> There's another one. Okay, this is a okay. I know I know this reference as well. With the power of Ariel's tears, which you fueled with your attacks, I shall become a god. Soon you will live again as a part of me. Okay. There's the developer. What are you doing here? This is the game's ending scene. I go to the toilet for just one minute and you already mess up my storyline? Hey, would you mind? I'm working here. Do you have any idea of what it takes for a poor developer like me to come up with this kind of groundbreaking plot twist? There's just no use with you. I bet you even skip the scroll introduction. It's impatient players like you that are ruining this business for everyone, you know? No, seriously, this is my big moment. You can't just interrupt me like that. But still, it's better if I take you to the beginning of the game now. Actually, I don't even like this scene that much. Maybe I'll change it somewhere along the way. What? No, I will not relent. I am Zonda, the Tyrant of Darkness. I shall defeat the Chosen One and drown this world in du- And there you have it. So that's basically the premise of the game. And as I said at the very start, you are indeed playtesting a game, a JRPG, which is what you can see right here. And you're doing that for the developer and you have to report the bugs that you find. There were 15 bugs in all in that entire area, and I probably could have found some more. All right, name, se name selection. Oh no, please enter a name. Oh, I'm terrible at these, you know that. Okay, I guess I will just select this. There we go. What, really? Is this really how you wanna be called? Oh, mighty! That lame name you just invented. Lame name that nobody likes. Save the realm! Can you imagine that? I certainly can't. But don't worry. Thankfully, I had already prepared a great name for you. 
You're welcome. Hey, you. You are the ter- ter what? Ter Terrabane, apparently. Ah, oh, yes, I'm, I'm apparently not, not reform anymore. The chosen by the goddess. King Mustachio summoned you here in Whiskerberg, the capital of the kingdom. Yes, of course. Every real hero receives a quest from a royal of some kind. Cross the city gates and follow the road north to find his royal palace. I'll be here warming up my old bones by the fire. Alright, so there's no doubt going to be a huge amount of different... I can kind of already see a couple of things here that we might be able to interact with that might result in some bugs. Let's see. Okay, so this is the main map, as you can quite clearly tell. Oh, this is this is actually super nostalgic for uh, those of us that may have played some older style RPGs in the past. There's a bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge and there's a, a swirling whirlpool of water over there, in which I assume we're going to be able to interact with. Oh, I have a random battle. All right. Uh, wait, Goblin is an awfully standard fancy name for our first monster encounter. We need monster names to be flashy and hip to differentiate from the rest. All the important devs out there are going for that vibe nowadays. Bob... Bob... Nah, not good. Fob... Foboblin! Yes, yes! Rolls right out of your tongue. That's the one. There, changed it. But don't mind me now. Uh, get back to your fight. And that's the kind of thing you're gonna see. Oh yes, it's a foboblin now. It is indeed a foboblin, and we are going to need to attack it. Let me actually just see. Okay, so I can use a bunch of different abilities here, but they're gonna cost me a load of mana points, and I currently only have 19 mana points. So I will probably try to just attack it normally. What about the scan, though? Let's scan it. Maybe that's a bug that we can encounter. Weak versus... <laughs> We, it, it literally, it died from the scan. Okay, it died from the scan. That is actually hilarious. We're getting dills as well instead of gill. That is wonderful. All right, so we've also leveled up. That's actually amazing. Okay, let me see here. So um, that's obviously the first level that we, uh, that we did right there. And this is what we are currently doing. So we are in Whiskerberg. There are 30 of them. And I need to get another 23 bugs to uh, proclaim that this section of the game is broken and needs more needs more work on it. All right, let me see here now. Cut in seven slices. Curious. Okay, there's going to be surely that yeah, oh oh no, that's just that's just the exit. Okay, I had no idea. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. You never know what you're going to find. That's the whole thing. Okay, so that... Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Okay, uh, apparently that... Mm, I might be dead. Well, that was actually kind of amazing, though, because we did unlock another bug. Flushed. Uh, well, you must agree with me that this is your fault for trying to exit the wrong way. Surely you don't expect me to check every single collider. What do you mean why implement the Whirlpulse physics? Of course I implemented the Whirlpulse physics! Hm, that's why you're a player and not a developer, I suppose. Now, back to solid ground with you. <laughs> this guy. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, yeah, so he's obviously also your antagonist in the game, if you didn't already um, kind of get that. But yeah, he's also the narrator as well. Okay, so let me, uh, let me see if I can explore... Wait a minute. This... Oh no no, there's nothing going on over here. But we just gotta we gotta make sure that we're checking everything. You know, we've got a we are the playtester in the game after all. So it's probably a good idea that we check all of these various little areas here just to make sure that everything is working as intended. Hello there, sir. Hi, welcome to Whiskerberg. Hi, welcome to Whiskerberg. Hi, welcome to Whiskerberg. Hi, mm, welcome to Whisk. Dialogue input false. Enjoy your stay <laughs> eloquence. Oh, eloquence. Yes, wonderful. All right, so let's actually just take a quick look at eloquence here. One of the royal palace gate guards really wanted you to feel welcome. 
maybe a bit too many times. Indeed. All right, let's have a look at this. Pay no mind to my colleague here. He is not all right in the code, if you get my meaning. <laughs> okay, wait. Is he going to say the same thing? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So I think we have interacted with mostly everything. I'm just making sure. Can I? Do I need to speak to this guy? Stay a while. Stay a while and listen. I have traveled far and wide. I'm sure I can help you find your way through these troubled lands. But don't make our king wait. The palace is still due north as always. All right, yeah, that's obviously a reference and a half too. Okay, so let's move on while we still can. Because <laughs> you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Some years back, the monsters from the fire temple were a real problem for the city. Mm-hmm. Now they all look so depressed about losing their firestone. I almost feel pity for the poor buggers. Oh, I glitched out there. Did you see that? Wait. If I just stand there, does it make any... Mm, no, there was a glitch uh, or something was happening there, but apparently it didn't maintain itself for too long. All right. Okay, so I can't actually see myself down here, so I wonder whether there's anything going on. There's a chicken. Okay, the chicken is blocking my path. What a wonderful, wonderful chicken it is. Villager Maggie joins the party. Unforeseen recruit! Nice. And there's a cow. Oh, wait, do you see that? Look at this. Pear Crate joins the party. Inanimate recruit. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Can I get can I get the chicken to join? I can't get the chicken to join. All right, what about the cow? Can I get the cow to join? No, it doesn't seem like it. All right. The ruins of the old temple of fire lie westwards from the city gates. They rest at the foot of Mount Fate, the biggest volcano of the entire region. Okay. Well, apparently you're not buggy at all, sir. What good are you then? <laughs> Okay, let me take a look at this tree. Nothing much going on here. Ariel's temple is up there. Oh, what's this? I glitched out for a second. I wondered whether there was something going on there. Okay, I'm going to go in here and see what's go what's actually going on. Hello there. Oh, he's the magic shop. Okay, so I actually have 4,789. There's Rabadon's cap. <laughs> and a noob staff. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh... Hmm. Eversteel. Literally, I can buy the Eversteel. Literally, I found I found the sword. Hey! I saw that. That is an important story item. You can't just waltz in and buy it. Play the game the way you're meant to, and you'll get there eventually. This one, however, goes back to the database. As I thought. In, indeed, indeed. All right, fine. Can I please talk to you? Yes, noob staff. Not enough deals. Oh, I have minus 4,789. Okay, I actually had no clue that that was indeed the case. Okay, so let me let me break this guy's pots. Can I really not break his pots? Ah, oh, now that's sad. Okay. Well, I apparently can't do that. I thought we'd uh, Zelda it up. Hey, where do you think you're going? Take a look at your inventory. You owe me 4,789 dills, you swindler. And now he wants to fight. Of course he does. And we are now indebted. I have the pear crate with me. The pear crate is going to absolutely murder everything in its path. All right, apologize. I couldn't care less for your excuses. Give me back my money. Silver tongue. Uh, I will try to explain. Oh, uh, uh, apparently Maggie's doing something. Coolness plus four. What did she actually try to do there? I didn't even see. I'm going to try to explain. That's what they all say. I'll teach you not to mess with an honest merchant. Pear Crate uses takeoff. Three, two, one. It's literally taking off. 
Um, okay, farewell, my planet needs me, he said, I assume. Okay, suggest it's all an unfortunate misunderstanding. As you can see, the text goes all the way off the box. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, let me, I'm going to try this. That's the oldest trick in the book. Try explaining that to the guards. Maggie uses du de de decoupage? Decoupage? Coolness plus seven. Burst into tears while blaming society and its dissolution or something along those lines. And it, oh no, dissolute customs. <laughs> okay. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. You could pay me in installments if you like. Maggie uses Whisker Mask. And now has a moustache, apparently. Coolness plus four. Okay, so now we can attack or we can literally try to escape. I think I will try to escape. Ah, damn scoundrel, I knew it! Don't show your face around here ever again, you crook! Well, that was very eventful, was it not? Oh yes, indeed. Okay, so now that we have um, <laughs> actually escaped, Terra Bane, the Chosen One. Certainly his majesty must be waiting for you in his royal palace. You'll find it north of here. Just follow the road. Sporting a moustache is the greatest pride in Whiskerberg. So much so, even some women sport a pair. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, apparently, because, I mean, you can see all the buildings. They literally have moustaches above. I found a door. Hey, are you serious? Give me back my door. Okay. You lost door. Really? Heroes these days have no shame. Misleadings. <laughs> can I, can I, can I go inside now? The door is locked. <laughs> no, okay, apparently I can't. Okay, what, what what's around here? I'm actually wondering whether I can enter his house from another direction. That would be kind of cool if I if I could make that work, but it's highly unlikely at this point, isn't it? Okay, there's a barrel on the bridge. I assume that barrel is going to do something, so let's not interact with it just yet. It must have at least a thousand needle nettles? Not needles, but nettles. Okay. Hello, chicken. What's this over here? That's a rock on the floor. Oh, the legendary reform. Oh, they did actually say give my name. Oh, no, it's supposed to be Terabe now, isn't it? I wonder what kind of moustache hides behind that mysterious helmet of yours. I'm glitching out again. What is in here, though? Living in Whiskerberg can make for an unstable experience. True. But after you get used to it, the variety in environments can become rather refreshing. I'm very curious about this one. The more I look at it, the more I'm convinced that this house furnishings are the result of some kind of quanta quantistic disaster or bad coding. Well, either way. Wow. Can I pick up this helmet? No. Can I pick up the sword? No. Oh, the bed is... Can I sleep in the bed? Nope. It looks all friendly when you first get in here, and then all of a sudden it's just gothic and huge amounts of, well, skeletons and stuff. I know a guard shouldn't complain about his work, but being coded to patrol this lousy back alley is truly disheartening. Oh, what I wouldn't give to guard the plaza. Maybe we could get him to guard the plaza. Maybe we could speak to someone about it for him. Did you know Ariel's temple has been built around the sprite of a jar? They call it the Jar of Shadows. I try to stay away from it. You don't give it a name like that if it doesn't mean trouble. Alright, so... 
<laughs> a sprite. Obviously, if you're aware of, um, you know, pixel games and, and various things that work on 2D planes, uh, most of the time a developer is going to use a sprite, obviously, to, you know, it's not like a 3D model or anything like that, so it's going to be a sprite. So sprite of a jar is, is the reference there, if you didn't get it, obviously. But if you did, then obviously I don't even need to explain that. Don't mind the eye patch Dana wears. She sees well enough. She just puts it on to appear older, since she's actually the youngest of the trio. Okay, I have no idea who Dana is, actually, even. I can assume that if I interact with the Jar of Shadows, sh something very, very strange is going to happen. Legends tell of a chosen soul ordained by the goddess herself. Someone who will wield the legendary blade to end the darkness once and for all. Let's hope this adventurer King Mustachio has summoned doesn't prove to be completely useless. Oh, Ariel, protect us from the encroaching darkness. Protect our soldiers on the field. Okay, ah, oh, is that Dana right there? Because she's wearing an eye patch. Help me win the Whisker Lottery! Ah. Uh, Juniper really is a saint. She always has a good healing, uh, always has good healing magic for everyone. So it seems we're finally going to meet the chosen one, says Juniper. <laughs> this whole legendary business stinks, if you ask me. Dana, you wouldn't dare doubt the word of the goddess, right? Ugh, sorry, sorry. Stop hitting me with your sunflower. Can I, can I go past? So it seems we're finally going to meet the chosen one. Ah, okay. Well, apparently, uh, apparently I can't get by here for some reason. Maybe I need to speak to the king first. I would assume that's probably it, isn't it? Okay, well... One thing I want to do is I want to try and interact with this over here. No, I just wanted to make sure that I'm exhausting every single possibility. Although I could be missing some things like walking off the map and stuff like that. Because you're going to have to go all the way around there if you want to do that. What? You can walk diagonally? Wow, you play a shore on a whole other level. Yes, I can walk. I can walk diagonally, actually. Did you notice that gongos tend to add gone at the end of some of their sentences? If you believe their stories, they say they've picked it up in a distant world. There, a race of irritating flying mice annoy people with something very similar. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, indeed. What's going on here? Oh, that's a cliff. Oh, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to, to step off that. Mind your manners within the city walls. Whisker guards never rest. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's, that's not particularly good. They probably should take a rest every so often. What's going on here, though? Can I walk across this? I like cakes. Hey. I don't have to be interesting just because I'm speaking to the protagonist. <laughs> oh, yes. Very true, indeed. This door is locked. Wait a minute. Did she just walk into the into the water there? What? I'm walking on water? So that's why my shoes keep getting soaked. <laughs> See, there we go. I thought so. Hey, where do you think you're going? Nobody goes through this gate, if not by order of the king. What? You're the Terrabane? Nonsense. At best, you look like a reform. <laughs> hey, if you're really the chosen one, you must have some kind of treasure. A powerful weapon, a dragon's head, I don't know. Something hero-ish. Come on, press the V button to open that in-game menu and show me what you've got. Well, uh... I don't have much. Actually, uh, uh, mana potion? These are worth so little at the store, I sometimes dress my salad with them. No, 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 these things are sold in general stores. I mean, a special item. 
something only a seasoned adventurer could have. Like the elemental stones, for example. Yes, some retired adventurers possess the elemental stones of earth, water, and fire. They are Lester the innkeeper, Juniper the priestess, and Dana the blacksmith. Start with Lester, he's at the inn at the center of town. If you manage to gather the stones, come find me and I'll let you pass. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll try to do that, sir. Alright, so the inn is at the center of town. Is this the inn? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely bigger on the outside, right? It's definitely bigger on the outside. Okay, not the inside. That house in Whiskerberg was bigger on the outside. Yes, I just made that joke. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, fantastic. I'm a big, uh, big Doctor Who fan, if you didn't realize. So, ah, oh, time flies. Fantastic as well. We're getting, we're getting bugs by the dozen. All Whisker guards are sworn to defend the king to their last breath. Really? It's written in our file's description. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Oh, that's rich. Look, uh, some of the textures belonging to these trees have superimposed and don't work well. Just run along and don't touch them. Uh, what happens if I touch them? I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should continue to touch them. I will touch this. No, that doesn't do anything. There has never been a finer sovereign than His Majesty Mustachio the First. Literally, the developer forgot to program the others. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think you can kind of get what the game is all about from the wonderful sense of humor. I personally find it extremely funny, but if you don't, then, well, it's probably not for you. But generally, I am having a whale of a time here. Oh, look at that. Hey! Uh, no, wait, sorry. You know, it's the first time you fix a bug, rather than causing a ruckus. What is this strange thing I'm feeling now? Some kind of... of not rage? The Upside Down. Yes, indeed, the Upside Down. I actually fixed something. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Guards in this town sure take their job seriously. They simply never rest. Now that I think about it, I also never do. I'm sure, yes. Uh, indeed. Being in the city watch is boring. All we ever do is stroll around. And yet, we don't trigger any random fight to pass the time. Is this the inn? Note, I'm at the temple. Ah, no, that's Dana. The perfect tool for forging. This is the blacksmith, obviously, as you can quite clearly tell. What is this, though? The door is locked. I keep on sowing this field, but the plants never grow. Sometimes it's hard to be an NPC. Hey, you found me. I'm Poyo Overparo Jr. I was the first guy to find every single bug in Terrabane's first demo. That 2016 demo doesn't even exist anymore, but I'm stronger than ever. I'm sure you are. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Someone that can find every single bug. My husband is fixated with taking care of this patch of dirt, even though he perfectly knows this game has no farming system implemented yet. <laughs> oh, classic. Okay, I think we are about done with the uh, bottom right section here, so I'm going to be moving on to the inn. Is this is this it? No, this door, this door is locked. Where is... Uh, no, there's the blacksmith. Okay, so the inn is probably... Royal Palace. This is probably the inn, no? No, because this is this is locked. So where is the inn? Because it's definitely not outside, right? So let me actually... Can I see the map? No, there is no way to see the map, actually, at the moment. Yeah, no, I can't go in there again, because that's, uh, that's the inn... Well, not the innkeeper, but that's the merchant guy that really did not want to let us live. Ah, sometimes I wish I could just remove this helmet. Ah, there's the inn. Of course, it has inn above the door. 
Some discriminate gongos because uh, discriminate even. <laughs> Some discriminate gongos because they're monsters, but we welcome them openly here. Mustaches that gorgeous can't grow on ill-intentioned creatures. Alright, we finally found the inn. Ugh, ale 60 dills, whisker burger 120 dills, prices in this tavern are a scam. Ah, welcome, you must be Terrabane, the chosen one everyone's talking about, eh? Yes, I'm Lester, the innkeep. Can I help you? Elemental stones? That rubbish. Think I got one of those down in the cellar. What? You need that? Well, you might as well take it if it's from... Uh, well, you might as well take it. It's from the last expansion and the stats are really bad. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Here, this is, this is the key for the cellar. If you manage to find it amongst the other useless scraps I keep in there, you can take it. Ah, uh, yes. As someone that has played a lot of MMORPGs in the past, uh, yeah, when a new expansion comes out, you know how it is. Old items are just exactly that, old and useless, most of the time. Simply delicious. Lester may be a shrewd businessman, but his whisker burgers are the real deal. This guy's sleeping. Take this, evil Zonda. Some Whiskerbergians dream of becoming heroes in the upcoming war against the Dark Lord. Ugh. Leave it to player characters, I say. Another whisker day ends, another whisker salary goes towards whisker burgers. Life is simple but sweet here in Whiskerburg. Lester doesn't look much like an adventurer, but you should see his magic item collection. He swiped enough to buy a little nation, he did. Nobody knows where he hoards the good ones, but he heaps the others down this cellar. Yeah, I assume he seems like kind of a thief, to be honest. <laughs> he does seem like kind of a thief. All right, let's go down into the cellar and see what's going on. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, okay. What is that sound that happens when I move this? Okay. Something's going on there. Wait a minute. Did I? Hmm, I might have made a slight error. Yes. Um, wait a minute. How? How am I supposed to get? Huh. I'm thinking I can glitch through this somehow, but I'm not sure how to do it. Let me see. What? What's this? Wait a minute. Ah, yes. Indeed. Unimplemented skills. Okay, wait a minute. Eons. The menu has been closed to prevent information loss. Ah! I seem to have Yes, indeed. Okay, so basically what's happening now is I move these two crates to where... I could only move them basically, you know, just like straightforward. And now what I can do is I can literally move the floor by moving against this wall. Like this. Yeah. And now I have the Earth Elemental Stone. A super easy, very, very simple puzzle, but I completely just totally failed at it. What's this? A rock has appeared. Rock and roll. Let's attack it. I'm gonna use, uh, oh, I'm not gonna use any abilities, I'm just gonna attack normally. I did zero damage. Pear Crate uses Ripen. Flavor plus one. You trip over the rock, and it does ten- it did ten damage to me! Okay, wait, uh... Fire Blast. The rock heated up. <laughs> uh... I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very, very bad feeling about this. You trip over the rock and it does more damage to me. Okay, I am probably dead. Uh, I... I will attack it. It did zero. Offer up cookies. Is that gonna actually do something? Highly unlikely. I'm dead. Continue, yes.
Okay, so I died from the rock. Let's not actually attack the rock then this time. That would probably make more sense. I like the fact that it auto-saved just before that fight, because otherwise I would have had to have replayed a huge amount of the game, and that would have been uh, not so good. But there you go. Did you feel some kind of tremor right now? I could have sworn I felt the building shift from the basement over. Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yes. Okay. So I'm I'm I, I'm possibly getting a little bit carried away with the game because I'm actually enjoying myself a great deal. But I think that's probably about time that we end this episode off here. So if you'd like to check out Terra Bane, there is a link in the description. Highly recommended if you're into the whole uh, fourth wall breaking, very very funny uh, situations that you can, you can get yourself into then, uh, yeah, highly recommended checking it out. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.